The old hag. Love that nickname. <laughs> it's stuck with her till death. That's not a cute selfie though. I wouldn't recommend posting that on Instagram yet. Maybe needs a little editing, you know? I'm just trying to help a girl out. Don't come haunt me. <laughs> I am 42 and first had a nightmare about a terrifying witch at the age of 16. So this has been going on for a while. That sucks. She kneels on my chest and stares into my face, slowly getting nearer and nearer. I am completely terrified. <laughs> This demon don't know nothing about personal space. She wears a black cloak and hood. Okay, so she's the emo kid who sits in the back of the class getting mad at everybody for no reason. Her face is like a witch and evil generates from her, surrounds me from her. Other times I can be lying on my stomach and she will creep her hand up the back of my head. Ugh, and you can't see it, but you know it's there. That's even worse. Down to my face and hook her fingers under my top teeth and pull my head back. I'm not sticking my fingers in my mouth, that's gross. But you can imagine, you know, that's gonna hurt. So she can feel it physically touching her. Other times she will bite, sit on the bed, knock the door, call my name, and generally scare the crap out of me for the past 30 years. Ugh, girl, you need to not live alone. You need someone to watch you. She awoke to find herself looking at herself sleeping, like she left her body and she was watching herself sleep. As she scanned the room, she saw a figure rocking backwards and forwards at the end of her bed. Not creepy at all. My mom said one time when I was a little kid, I just, I woke her up and I was just standing there staring at her like a creepy demon child. If that was my kid, I'm sorry, I'd smack you. I'd drop you off at a fire station. I don't play those games. My dead cousin was in my bed. So I am in my early 20s and I used to have mild hallucinations when waking up without the use of an alarm while being unable to move. This was years ago and it never really bothered me, but it happened this morning, which was kind of my fault. So I hung a jacket from the hood of a closet door on the way in front of me the night before and when I woke, I saw a woman standing there with a jacket on and her back turned. That was so difficult to say, I literally had to try it like five times because these people don't know how to type. Somehow I assumed someone I knew was lying in bed beside me. I don't know who. So I was trying to yell at the person beside me, then slowly the woman turned so I can see her from the side, and it was my cousin who died last year and was just staring at the mirror on the door. At this point, I'm losing it, <laughs> but I can't seem to yell. Then all of a sudden, I regain movement and end up yelling, you see her, right? Right? What the heck is happening? I turn and there's just a blanket laying beside me, and when I look back, I easily make out just the jacket hanging on my closet door. Still freaked out. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't pile your clothes in that one chair because you're too lazy to do your laundry. Because in the middle of the night, it's gonna look like a demon. The Grim Reaper. He sounds friendly. <laughs> Anyone else see this guy during a sleep paralysis episode? <laughs> nope, not me. <laughs> I've seen him once, but only sensed him since. Happened during my first episode, tornado inside my head followed by nothing but the color purple in my vision. When the purple subsided, there he was coming up to the side of my bed. And then I guess he was just like, nah, never mind. I just got the memo from upstairs. You're not ready yet. And then he just dipped. <laughs> I think I've told you guys this before, but I have had like one memorable sleep paralysis episode when I was really young. I thought it was a dream, but I was just laying there, couldn't move, couldn't talk. And I saw this like black figure. It looked like someone had a giant cloak on them, like the Grim Reaper, you know? I saw it come down the hallway and then go into my brother's room. And I was like, shoot, I gotta wake up before it comes and gets me. <laughs> I didn't try to help my brother at all. I was like, save yourself. I'm trying to wake up from this nightmare. <laughs> Couldn't move. My chest felt crushed. What is with these demons and laying on your chest? Like, don't they understand you have to breathe? <laughs> It was hard to breathe and I could hear loud hammering. A few feet away, a robed figure sat on my chair and slowly moved towards me. They just love to creep on you. <laughs> like they just can't walk up, get straight to the point and be like, yo bro, you about to die. <laughs> As it got closer, a menacing skull appeared. The only thing I could move were my eyeballs. And you're just trying to like not look at it so it's not as scary, <laughs> but you know it's there. <laughs> I get sleep paralysis quite a lot but you don't get used to it. It just sucks every time. <laughs> it's just intense pressure holding you down and you can't speak. I can usually see the shadow of a dark figure out of the corner of my eye, but I can't turn my head to look at it. And it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> 
Luckily for me, my partner is now used to this and we have a code. I start breathing really quickly and loudly and if he notices, then he snaps me out of it. That is so helpful. Why can't my boyfriend do that? <laughs> okay, I lied. I have had two total sleep paralysis moments. One of them was this past year. I woke up in the morning, Matt had already left to go play basketball. And, you know, I was just laying there, couldn't move. And I thought I heard someone walking up the stairs and like walk around the room. I definitely heard somebody. But then I went back to sleep, woke up an hour later, and then he came back. And I was like, I thought you were already here. But nope, just sleep demons. <laughs> there was something at the end of my bed watching me. It felt like I was being dragged towards them. All paranormal activity. <laughs> I remember trying to scream, but no noise was coming out. I had to slowly fight to get control of my body. It was one of the scariest experiences of my life. I feel so bad for people who have to experience this, like, regularly. It sucks. Y'all gotta do something else to, like, make your sleep, like, deeper. Like, drink some chamomile tea, work out really hard all day so you get extra tired, so you just have no possibility of waking up. <laughs> I've been having the same dream regularly since I was a child. I wake up and I'm in bed. There is someone in the house. I can hear the footsteps moving around, coming up the stairs slowly, <laughs> taking their sweet time. If I stay still, maybe the person won't come for me. I can hear him coming down the hall and I can see his shadow. He's a minotaur. I don't know what that is. He has a knife and he's coming for me. <laughs> I scream, wake up, relieved, except there's someone at the bedroom door, and this time I can't scream. So the first time it was a nightmare, but this time you're actually waking up and it's actually a demon. Yay. <laughs> oh my god, no, that's from Paranormal Activity. That movie gives me the chills. It feels too real. I'd fallen asleep listening to a podcast. When I woke up, the voice had changed into this demonic, record-played, backwards voice. Hissing, don't trust, slowly over and over again. It was terrifying. <laughs> Literally, if my boyfriend was just standing off to the side like that, staring at me, I'd be like, nah, homie, get out. We done, not messing with this. <laughs> you got something latched on you, I ain't gonna be a part of that. <laughs> Ew, no, you not pretty. I usually see someone come into my room with a crazed grin, staring at me. I try to scream, but I can't. They lean over and start suffocating me, rude. It's a sense of overwhelming helplessness. The whole time I'm just repeating to myself, wake up, wake up. I remember doing that and it sucks cause you don't wake up. <laughs> it happens every time I fall asleep on my back. That's when it would happen to me and that's why I got in the habit of sleeping on my stomach. <laughs> I wake up and I can't tell if my eyes are open or shut but I can see the whole room still. A dark presence is lurking on top of my wardrobe. And as soon as I notice it, I try to scream, but I can't, and I can't move. The darkness slithers down the side of my wardrobe, I love that word, <laughs> across the floor and looms over the end of my bed. Then it creeps all over me, trying to invade every orifice. <laughs> this guy loves, like, cool words. <laughs> I feel an immense pressure like it has pinned me down and is pushing its way into my ears, eyes, and mouth. Ew. This demon has no personal space. <laughs> The darkness then screams a terrible screech into my face and I try to scream back <laughs> until eventually I manage to jerk my head and everything disappears and I'm alone in the darkness. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound fun at all. Just having a screaming battle with a demon like, I can go louder, ah! <laughs> like a couple of kids. <laughs> Ew, no, is that the girl from The Ring? The worst was seeing a dog sitting on one of my arms, growling at me, ew, and a girl whose face was covered with her hair was sitting on the other arm. So she got a pet dog now to help torture people. I only woke up when she laid backwards and I felt her hair on my face, ew, no, that would be the worst thing ever. Like get your hair out of my face, that's just unsanitary. I had a nightmare I was hearing a 911 call of someone being attacked and woke up to a hallucination of the attacker in my room. So you heard someone trying to call 911 trying to help you, but it's too late. This guy's about to murder you. Look at him. You can't escape this. <laughs> there have been terrifying times where I've rolled over and looked at my boyfriend only to see a black and red striped face looming over his shoulder. That's not funny. Don't play games with me, demon. <laughs> That's just spooky. I feel like I would try to punch it in the face, but then you accidentally punch your boyfriend and then he doesn't believe you when you say you were trying to protect him from a demon. Uh-uh, I don't mess with Annabelle. 
It usually feels like someone is sitting on my chest choking me and I see staring faces right above mine laughing and screaming gibberish. So these demons are just like playing games with you at this point. They're just like, let's just freak her out. Just say random stuff. Repeat pizza orders, ice cream flavors. <laughs> just confuse her and say it in Latin. Make it extra spooky. <laughs> The Annabelle movies are the scariest to me for some reason. I hate them. But anyways, that's it for sleep paralysis stories. Comment below if you have ever experienced sleep paralysis and what you saw, what happened. I want to know. And as always, please subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on social media. Links are all down below and I'll see you tomorrow.